Alright guys, I just thought I'd do a little educational short video on how to form temporary expansion. Might help a few of you guys out. Um, this will be handy for when you go to a breakdown where the expansion vessel has actually failed, which means you can't recharge the vessel, um, you can't change the shredder valve, the diaphragm is actually split inside and there's water coming out of it. Um, the symptoms that your customer is going to be left with is that every time they run the boiler, uh, it's gonna the pressure is going to go up into the red. It's going to go over three bar. PRV is going to open, and they're going to start losing pressure. So, and then it just becomes uh, a cycle of them having to top up the pressure and the pressure dumping out through the PRV. Um, so, obviously, you may not have the expansion vessel on you at the time, or it may be something like a Worcester where you've got to take the expand the boiler off the wall to change the expansion vessel because it's at the back of the boiler um, and you want to buy some time uh, before you can get back to do the job um, there is a way to form temporary expansion now what you want to do is you want to find the smallest radiator in the properties usually going to be in the bathroom it's going to be the towel rail or it's just going to be a small radiator um, turn off both radiator valves shut them both off drain this radiator out so that you've got no water left inside of it um, and then what you want to do is keep one side still shut and only open up the other side. Now what that will do is that will basically allow the water back into the radiator. But because you've still got air in the radiator, because we're not venting the radiator here, um, the radiator is only going to fill up halfway with water or part of the way up. We don't know exactly how much, but it's going to be filled with a mixture of water on the bottom and air at the top. Now, the most important thing to do here is do not vent the radiator, do not bleed it because you want to keep that air gap within the radiator because this is what's going to act as your temporary expansion vessel. So you've kept one side shut, you've only got one side open. So if you imagine an expansion vessel, um, it's going to work in the same way. So you've got part of it filled with water as the boiler turns on and the water starts heating up. This will basically balance the pressure within this radiator and it will stop that pressure from going up into the red um, and it will stop the PRV from opening and dumping pressure out and it will buy you a bit of time until you can go back and uh, fit the new expansion vessel. And that's it. I've had to do this on a couple of jobs in the past. Uh, well, like I said, I've been sent to jobs where uh, the vessels have failed. Uh, it's been on a turbo max where the vessel's at the back, on Worcesters where the vessel's at the back. Um, and just to sort of buy them some time, uh, I've done this trick um, and it works and it gives you that much time to go back with the part and get the job done properly. So I hope you guys have found this helpful um, and give me a shout uh, if you've tried it and if it helps you out on the job. Thanks for watching.